you are asking for a like, counter vigilante like, group like that, will, that will fight what the like, tax force sure because his excellency the president said and if i'll quote he said we we are not spectators i'm a citizen have he you said we should be a citizen but not a spectator have you made and a i want to tell to them that i'm not a spectator i'm a citizen of this country and therefore i think that ndc and for that matter, our people should form a counter-vigilante group to terminate all this that, finance. That, that, is, that. that is you telling me you're ready to uh, engage in violence to, in order to, to what? Uh, rectify the wrong it's that unfortunate. you feel has been done it's, against it's you? It's unfortunate. I don't know how it will be interpreted, but I don't see why somebody should just walk to my house with metro men, saying that they are coming to beat my wife you up and go away. Have you made a complaint to the police I about have made the missing gold in particular? The missing gold, I just walked to, because in the morning, we did not see that the gold has actually been picked out of the car. I made a formal complaint. I went to the police station this evening as well to complain, and they said to me that I should write a statement of all these mixing items mm -hmm. and bring it back to them so they can take it up. Apart from that, what the question you asked me earlier, I do not think that it is right for people just to be walking to... It can happen to you. It can. Obviously. It can actually happen to you. Yeah. So nobody should take it like it has just happened to an NDC politician and therefore you clap your hands. Tomorrow, it could even be the chief of staff. Mm -hmm. That's somebody who meet there on the road and start beating her up. It could be that... For example, if you can But I mean, I do not subscribe to you telling <laughs> me that you want to form a counter vigilante group. That for me that is absolutely no, no. And yeah, it's no. Maybe no, I should encourage you to redraw that whilst no, you have it's, it's the opportunity on no, TV no, now no, to do no, so. No, but I think that's the right thing to do. And also, I think people should be given some form of, I mean, some form of security. Personally, personally, if I have the opportunity, I'll protect myself. How will you protect if yourself? If I get the opportunity and I'm armed, I'll protect myself. If I get anything, if you walk to my house that you want to beat my wife and I have a gun, should I leave you to go? If I have something that I can use to defend myself, I don't know, maybe I may be wrong, but if I have anything that you walk to my house that you want to beat my wife, my son shouldn't go to school, and I just leave you, because you are from chief of staff. Do you expect an apology from the uh, presidency over this? Especially I think, I when think, think, no vehicle was found in your I possession the and the skirmishes that took place a, in your apart house. Apart from even the apology, I think apology, I don't actually need an apology. But what I think they should do is, one, they but should... You, you sound very bitter. So an, I apolo sound, I sound an, bitter, an apology might assuage you. Brother, I don't have a make, choice. Mm. They've stolen my gold. This is all what I've The gold is for. worth how much? It's worth about 260,000 Ghana cities. And there's a receipt, a company in Kumasi called Innocent BF that I bought the gold from them. There's a receipt, documentation, everything genuine that these guys have just picked from my car. If you want to check, um, how do you call it? Um, how do they call it? Um, is it... Um, Vehicles, the numbers on the vehicle, what do they the call numbers. The chassis numbers. Mm -hmm. They just decided to go under the car. And I think the other guys went around the other side to pick it up. Mm. And the policeman, it, it, it can actually happen to you, my brother. It can, yes. It can happen but to I your don't, mother. But I don't keep gold in my it house. It can happen. No, it's not about gold. You have, you can, you, but you keep money in your house. No. You don't keep money in your house. No. That's complete lies. Nobody in Ghana can tell me that they don't have money <laughs> in their house. <laughs> what well, well, I don't. That's completely. It's not true. Well, I don't. You because see, we I, are, we are I, all, I use electronic systems. I have, are, I have cards. I and I feel that. I use cards. I, as well. I feel that for I safety, use cars as safety well. reasons. Even in a I don't keep even, volume. Even in I mean, a cashless society. Mm. People have money, but I mean money. And I keep people, money. People I keep it. Say that. money. I keep in my you house see, is for day to day I'm, running. I'm, it will not I'm, be enough I'm, for I'm real, somebody. I'm somebody. Right, Mr. Uh, Manager. Realistic. We will have to wrap I'm, up I'm the conversation. We'll have to wrap up the conversation. We're grateful yeah. that you came. Thank though. you very much. And we do hope that you report to the police and get uh, I'm going back action, to the police uh, tomorrow morning, and I think the troubles should fight against all these things, even if you have 
a gun to defend yourself, you have to defend yourself. Right. Uh, I'm Stephen Antti, and I'm grateful that you made time to listen to us. This is uh, News at 10. We came to you live on 3FM. Speaking from my car. And they just said they want, if you look at the pictures, these are built guys, they want to beat my wife up just because we need a warrant from them. Earlier, the guy was telling me that he's a police superintendent. And I said, police superintendent, can you show me your ID? He pulled an ID, and it's not any police ID. The guy works for Ghana Airport Company. And I think at the course of doing the inspection on the car, you know, I opened the doors for them to have a look at it, take the chassis number, whatever they want to take. And I think at the cost of it, if you watch the video, later we watch the video. So you properly. filmed the CCTV oh, in yes, your house. Oh, yes, yes. I, I, I actually filmed whatever they were doing. And if you look at it, I think the slim police guy in the uniform and the other guy went around the car to pick the thing. Do you by any chance suspect that uh, these were not uh, the, the assigned members of the tax force and that perhaps they're just using the name of the tax force to go around robbing people i think i think they're actually members of the tax force because um the guy confirmed on radio and apparently which i did not hear apparently somebody too from the flagstaff house confirmed on radio that these guys are tax force that the his excellency the president and the chief of staff and like they told me they said the interior minister or is it national security coordinator or whatsoever has actually So let, let's let's put a record. They didn't get any cars from they did not your get house. Any and, from but do you have any state vehicle in your I possession? The question I asked you was whether there was a state vehicle in your house. I don't, I don't have a state anywhere vehicle. else do you have? I don't have a state. Have you purchased any uh, vehicle from the time you left Thank office? Thank you. That, that's that's as, a, as that's a form of arrangement uh, due to the office you occupied. That's a very good question. When, they, when we were given the opportunity to purchase those vehicles, I said to my wife that I don't need this car. I can just walk to the roadside and buy a car. So I did not take even the advances that was with me. I did not buy, buy the, the vehicle. So I did not purchase any state vehicle. And you handed it over uh, oh, to the Ministry through of the Local legal Government. Process. If mm. tomorrow you can call the Local Government Ministry, they will confirm, they will that confirm you to, over to you that. that I have handed over the Toyota advances that was given to me by the, 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 I mean, the state when I was a minister, I have also given them back the Toyota Prado that was given to me. I've given it back to them. Any vehicle. And I had, um, actually, I had um, a Toyota Land Cruiser as well. It is the Toyota Land Cruiser the current minister is using. Mm. And they are demanding a Prado, um, Prado and um, a Toyota Camry from me. And I said to them, go and tell the chief of staff. But did you have an idea of what Prado uh, or they were actually yes. asking for? Have you yes. use, ever used yes, that I've car before? Yes, I've never used a Prado. Mm. I, but I've never, and I repeat, I have never used any Toyota Camry. So whoever chief of staff or national security coordinator, probably they don't have a clue. So where is, where is that, uh, that Prado you used? It is with where the Ministry of Local Government. You handed that over? Or sure. that was not assigned to you? It was assigned to me. How I'm many giving, cars were assigned to you? I had two cars. I had a Prado and I had um, Avensis. And later they bought, um, how do you call it? They bought a Toyota Land Cruiser, which was meant for a long distance. And all those cars are back. And the Minister for Local Government, Hadja, is driving my Land Cruiser now. So if the government or if somebody needs something, they should go and attack the local government minister and take the vehicle. The vehicle will, is with the minister. And, I mean, the way they come to us, intimidating children, my kids are out. Okay, how did they come? They didn't break your doors, of course. They, they did not. They, they came in, they, they did knocked, not. and six, you allowed them to I come. allowed them because I did not know their mission. If you come to my house as a KTC, I'll just let you come in. And I gave them a seat to sit down. I asked them, what's your mission? And they said, oh, we are from National Tax Force. And I said, do you have any warrant? Do you have any ID? Even the police officers, the two police officers, they do not have an ID. So what are you going to do? I mean, beyond I, just complaining have, and speaking to us in the media to highlight the issue, what are you going to do? What I'm going to do is I think an NDC needs to form a counter-vigilante group 